Hey everyone, Jeff here, and today I want to show you how you can take the plain old pentatonic scale and breathe some cool new life into it. Before we get going, are you interested in learning arpeggios? Well, I have a free ebook available right now by using the link below. It's called Arpeggios Unlocked, a guide to seventh arpeggios. And there are two free accompanying videos. So just sign up, click on that link, hit enroll, and you'll get those for free. Like me, the first scale you probably ever learned is the pentatonic scale. And it's a great scale. It's the one I still think of as the primary scale for soloing, for blues, blues, rock, funk, jazz, everything like that. It's home base. But playing A minor blues licks over an A minor funk jam like the one I have here sounds cool at first, but after a while I think it gets a little tiresome and a little boring. A lot of my favorite players do not do this. So you hear guys like John Schofield or Robin Ford, John Mayer, do things like this all the time. So let's take a look at the scale. A minor pentatonic spelled A, C, D, E, G, A, C, D, E, G, A, C. Playing it over an A minor chord, you can get that vamp here and the tab for everything using the link above or below. So the A minor pentatonic scale on its own is just a collection of notes. It's not particularly bluesy on its own. It's the inflections that we add into it that make it sound bluesy, like this. That's what sounds bluesy, but this note combination is itself, like I said, not inherently bluesy, which is really cool because if we try to look at the scale not as blues licks or in a bluesy fashion, we come up with some really cool sounds using the same notes. One of my favorite ways to do this is, I kind of call it creative visualization. I'm going to look at the A minor pentatonic scale from above. I'm going to see this. What if I start to think about a shape in there? I'm going to use one note on a string as I go up. So I'm going to start off with the A, go to E, G, D, E, C. A minor pentonic is spelled A, C, D, E, and G, but we just played that, but we separated them. Super cool, so check that out. A, E, G, D, E, C. Now, of course, it's kind of tricky to play fast. You're coming across all the strings in one pick motion. It's tricky, so just do it really slowly. Let's hear that sounds just over the track. I don't know about you, but I love that sound. It really breaks up the scale, pulls me away from the bluesy ideas, and then I can finish them off with a blues lick. Now, to play all those notes straight through, it's pretty demanding technically, and it has a particular sound, which can be cool. You definitely want to work on it, but let's take one little idea. Right there, so I'm going to take that D, E, and the C. Now let me do another thing. Let me move that same shape, but towards the ceiling, one set of strings. So here I'm going to have A, C, G, D, E, C. So you see what I'm doing? I'm just taking one note from each string as I go across the scale of the A minor pentatonic scale. Let's check out that lick. I'm going to finish it off with a blues lick. To me, that's a really cool sound. But how do you get that under your fingers? Well, you lift the jam track roll. It's about five minutes long. You can get this jam track for free using the link above or below, along with tab for these licks. Also, this is all related to a cool course that I put out called Pentatonic Creativity Minor Edition. You can get that for a special deal down below as well. So now, let the track run. Slowly go through the lick. Take your time and figure out how you get under your fingers, how you get in and out of lick by resolving with a blues lick. 
For this to get into your playing really smoothly, it has to become second nature. And the only way you can do that is by repetition, 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 and repetition. Now let's take that same idea, and I'm going to move it to the next position of A minor pentatonic. So here I have E, G, and D. Keep going. G, A, and E. Keep going. A, C, and G. One more time. You have C, D, and A. So all together. Let's hear how that sounds. That's pretty nice too. Now I can also play those as chords, right? Let's hear that. So that sounds pretty cool, right? So we're using them as chord ideas, we can use them as soloing ideas. But the larger picture here is we're just taking a shape. We looked at the scale from above and chose three notes, one note in each string, and I'm moving it through the scale positions, which is really useful because it makes us think differently. I'm not thinking about blues licks, I'm just thinking about being creative on the guitar. And this is where I'm all coming to with this. It's about ways to tap into your own creativity as you work through a pentatonic scale. If you're interested in learning more about this and this kind of idea, you can check out my course called Pentatonic Creativity Minor Edition, which is available for a special price down below. For the last few examples, I just played everything on the top three strings. Of course, I could bring that same idea and shape down a set of strings. Now you're getting some really cool stuff. I never thought about playing this. That's a great sound as a lead player. Chords. Now there I'm playing three notes. I could just play two notes. Just taking any shape of the pentatonic scale. So if you take the A minor pentatonic scale fingering across all the strings, just pick a pattern. Choose some notes, see a shape, and work through it. Thanks so much for checking this out. And if you enjoyed my video, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps a lot. Don't forget you can use the link below and get the free backing track and tab for this lesson. Also, you can get my free ebook, Arpeggios Unlocked, A Guide to Seventh Arpeggios, along with the accompanying free mini course videos using the link below.